Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Aris and welcome to Rustic Flow. Uh, today I'm gonna be reacting to Anthony Jesenik helps a friend get an abortion. And I'm really looking forward to this before because I know it is absolutely hilarious. I've seen the full stand up on Netflix. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. A couple of months ago, a couple of months ago, I took a friend of mine to get an abortion. Get on board right now if you are going to. That right. This is a very long, very true story. <laughs> took my friend to get an abortion. Don't worry, guys, wasn't my baby. Wasn't important. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever done that, ever helped someone to get an abortion. It's a big favor. It's a big favor to do for somebody. Not an easy favor, not an easy favor at all. And don't get me wrong, I am as pro-choice as they come, but still, the whole time I'm driving her, I'm just thinking to myself, God damn, there has got to be a better way to come up with new material. <laughs> And yes, yes, I did just say I am pro-choice. That does not mean I am pro-abortion. You have other options. If you don't want your baby, you can still have your baby delivered, leave it outside any fire station in the country. <laughs> they will run it over for you. <laughs> oh my God, I completely True. forgot these, man. What the? <laughs> it's the law. As far as I'm concerned, they've been heroes since before 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's some fucked up shit, man. Fun little New York joke for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. I love it. Now... <laughs> Now, people hear me tell this story, and they always say the exact same thing. Wow, Anthony, you're a good friend. <laughs> yeah, damn right. You would help someone like that, Anthony. You're a good friend. Fuck you. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a good friend. I'm a great friend. <laughs> you know the difference? Great friends wake up at 6 in the morning. Great friends drive to your house. Great friends pick you up and then take you to get your abortion. Good friends, good friends just babysit. <laughs> now I have given this a lot of thought. A lot Have you of know. thought. And I still don't know if it had been my baby, would I have argued to keep it? I think about that saying they always use, you know, what if your baby turns out to be a great artist someday? I don't need that competition. <laughs> People ask me, what was it like? What was it like to take your friend to get her abortion? It was boring. Of course it is. I don't know why I thought it was going to be fun and exciting. <laughs> you have to have abortion clinic for quite But trust me, the only person more disappointed than me that day was the baby. <laughs> right? It never gets old, this joke. Uh, it never gets old. It was so boring. It was just me by myself for two and a half hours in an abortion clinic waiting room, bored out of my mind. I don't know if you've ever been to an abortion clinic waiting room before, but the magazines are not great. <laughs> the whole place is filled with kids for some reason. <laughs> I 
I mean, I thought they were kids. Turns out they were just ghosts. <laughs> I knew this was coming, yeah. but I still always love his delivery, man. Yeah, that's the high point of the story. <laughs> but I'm only halfway done. So I'm in this waiting room for so long, and I'm so bored that after a while, my mind just starts to wander. And I start to think about my friend and what she's going through behind those doors. And then almost immediately, I bring it back to myself. <laughs> Gotta do that. <laughs> and I think, Anthony, what are you gonna say to her when she walks out of there? You should think of something nice to say. You should have a plan. Because I'm not going to lie to you guys, I blew it when she walked in there. <laughs> I didn't have anything nice prepared. I didn't have a plan. The doctor called her name. She stood up, turned around to look at me one last time, and I panicked. I just went, um, kill him in there. <laughs> I forgot that one. I'm not proud of that. You know? <laughs> I consider that to be a total failure. <laughs> Worst part for sure was the fist bump. I know that now. <laughs> and yeah, she looked at me like I'm an asshole, but who is she to judge? <laughs> <laughs> but now the pressure's on me. Think of something nice for when she walks out of there. But I'm not good at that. I don't remember this bit. That's not my specialty. Thinking up nice things to say to people in their time of need. The closest option I could come up with in my own mind was, hey, did you lose weight? <laughs> I know. Look, I'm not proud of that either, okay? That is useless. I can't say that to my friend. That is useless, except for the fact that it made me laugh. <laughs> you really did it, didn't you? That's when I realized I am chuckling to myself <laughs> in the waiting room <laughs> of an abortion <laughs> clinic. I catch myself, I stop, I look up. I see a couple sitting straight across from me. The guy looks away in disgust, like he wants to fight me. But the woman leans forward and goes, hey, Anthony, big fan. <laughs> Which I always appreciate, never a bad time for that. Literally, any trimester was good. <laughs> <laughs> a couple oh of minutes later, a nurse walks out, comes right up to me, hands me some paperwork and says, hey, are you here for Jessica's abortion? And at this point, I was so bored. <laughs> I just stood up as fast as I could and said, wait, don't you mean ultrasound? <laughs> <laughs> That's so, I completely forgot this bit, man. And then I laughed for quite some time. <laughs> I mean, really threw my head back on that one. <laughs> <laughs> if you're wondering about the nurse, don't worry. She was a total pro. Did not laugh at all. <laughs> of course not. So I got a little more time left in this waiting room. And it finally dawns on me, Anthony, you're just a terrible person. And you are never going to think of something nice to say to your friend. 
Yeah, that's so right. So why not just get her a present? Get her a gift to make her feel better. That way, you don't have to say anything. Yeah, but that's what do a you good get, get out of a jail card. For someone who's just had an abortion. I had no idea. So I Googled it. <laughs> you can Google that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna... It worked. The website popped up. And I'm glad I looked at it too. It. it really helped me out. Because my first thought, commemorative coin does not exist. Yeah. Turns out it's actually never been a thing. <laughs> I must have dreamed it. My second there thought, is... flowers. Flowers are always good, right? No. I didn't find not anything. Not according to this website. This website said, do not get her flowers. Flowers are more of a romantic gesture. Yeah. And she's got to take them home, put them in water. Do not put her through that on this day. According to this website, flowers are the worst gift you can get someone after they've just had an abortion. Yeah, actually. Now, I took that advice on the day. I still don't think I believe it. <laughs> I feel like we can all agree the worst gift you could get someone after they've just had an abortion would be a to-go box. Right? <laughs> Think of something worse and I'll change the fucking joke. <laughs> the answer is to-go box. <laughs> that would be inappropriate. That would be a real bucket of cold water on abortion day, no. <laughs> According to this website, there's only one gift. Only one gift is appropriate after someone has just had an abortion. I completely forgot this bit. And that is a succulent. What the hell? <laughs> Do you know what a succulent is? Because <laughs> I had to Google that shit too. <laughs> If you don't know, a succulent is a desert plant. It's like a cactus. It's a plant that doesn't need water. It's a oh, plant right. that gets its nutrients from the air, give or that. I said, absolutely not. I would never do that to my friend Jessica. I would never be like, oh, here you go, Jessica. Here's something else you never have to take care of. <laughs> I'm actually going to flowers. I would never do that. What am I, a monster? So I didn't get her anything. She eventually walked out from behind those doors. I didn't give her anything. I didn't say anything. I just stood up. I gave her a hug, helped her to the car, drove her home. And I sat next to her on her couch holding her while she cried. I was a great friend that day. Such a great friend that even hours later, after she'd stopped crying, calmed down, and forgotten about the whole thing forever. What did you do? I completely forgot, man. <clears throat> I was still there next to her, writing down all these jokes. <laughs> Oh, he's hilarious, man. So, that was Anthony Jettonek helps a friend get an abortion. And the fact that I've forgotten most of it uh, was really good because I really, really, really did enjoy jo those jokes again. Even the one I remember uh, was pretty good, the ghost one. And uh, a few other ones I remember some of them, but it was an absolute brilliant man. And I love his dark humor, man. I absolutely love his humor because it's right on the nose. It's literally like it just doesn't cross the line. Do you know what I mean? Like it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, as I mentioned, I've seen the whole uh, whole setup, and I I'm so glad. I'm so glad I don't remember most of it, and that made it even more enjoyable to watch it again. So I really hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.